Different genes allow all of us to be unique and different from each other. Traits such as our hair and eye color are the result of mixing and matching of DNA. Congenital heart disease may be caused by a combination of genetic material, also known as genes, from our parents or even random mutations. One goal of our research is to identify the genetic causes of HLHS. This research is only possible through the donation of genetic samples containing DNA from affected families. Genomic sequencing is a process for analyzing a sample of DNA taken from your blood. In the lab, technicians extract DNA and prepare it for sequencing. Within every normal cell, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes that house DNA. Think of DNA as the blueprint to how you are made. The blueprint is comprised of paired chemical letters called bases. These base letters are A, T, C, and G. To read the letters in the genetic sequence, high-frequency sound waves break apart the DNA into smaller pieces. Special tags are then added to the ends of the fragmented DNA. The tagged DNA is put on a glass slide, and the sequencer reads the DNA one base at a time using different colored tags. Powerful computers piece together these individual DNA fragments to complete the sequence of your six billion base pairs, the letters that make up the blueprint. The HLHS team has completed whole genome sequencing from more than 250 HLHS family members. Your genome is a set of all your DNA, including your genes. If you printed all of the DNA letters from one individual on a standard size of paper, each genome would be the equivalent to a stack of paper as tall as the Mayo Clinic building, over 20 stories high. The team then uses powerful computers to scan through each one of these six billion base pairs and hundreds of individuals all at once to identify any significant changes. Spelling errors can be found even in single letters. These spelling errors in DNA result in abnormal proteins. The abnormal proteins are produced to get incorporated into the heart muscle. In some families, we have identified mutations that affect the sliding filament, a part of the mechanism that makes our heart muscle contract. This filament does not properly function, and the heart muscle contracts with less force than unaffected hearts. Individuals with HLHS are at increased risk for developing heart failure and require closer monitoring by their doctors. We are now able to detect this variant in the DNA long before the individual develops a weak heart. This technology will allow us to individualize the care of all patients with HLHS.